What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are taking a closer look at the ringside exclusive Finn Balor Elite figure. Very excited to pick this thing up. I picked up two of them yesterday along with my uh, custom haul that I showed you guys yesterday. It was from Ringside Collectibles, which is the only place that you can pick this figure up. I will leave a link in the description below straight to their website so that you can purchase it if you would like. Getting straight into the review, you have a window here viewing the figure. It comes with his rubber Balor Club t-shirt there. would be a lot better if it was cloth, but I'll get into that later. Spinning around here, you have a picture of Finn here as well as Balor Club logo up here. On the back, you have another picture of Finn with his beautiful abs here. And then you can read this if you would like. You can pause the video now to read that even if you can. Ballot Club logo up here. Spin around here. Another picture of Finn with his signature and Ballot Club logo here. And on the front you have a Ballot Club logo at the top there as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and crack this thing open so we can take a closer look at it. And then we will get more into the review. So here's the Finn Balor Elite out of the packaging. I think this thing is really, really nice. Given how simple it is, I think that's what makes it so awesome. You have the Balor Club logo here on the tights as well as the white teeth on the right knee, uh, knee pad. The kick pads are solid black, and as he spins around here, you will see that he has his white teeth design here on his right butt cheek of his tights. He comes with a black sleeve on his left arm, and the right arm is uh, without a sleeve. Uh, it comes with the last smirking Finn, base, Finn Balor basic head that we got on his last released figure. I think this thing's really, really nice. It's not too detailed like other ringside exclusive figures. It really doesn't come with any great accessories. I think that the um, jacket and shirt that it comes with hinders the articulation and stuff, but I'll get into that in just a second. Um, I, like I said, I think this thing's really, really nice. I think I do recommend it already just because it's a unpainted Elite Finn Balor if you don't feel like converting a Cody Rhodes and Daniel Bryan into an Elite Balor and having to paint it all that stuff. I think this is a really nice way to go. It's not like the other ringside exclusives, as I mentioned. It doesn't come with, you know, any titles or anything like that. But I do think, since it's so simple, that it's really worth picking up. It's really, really great for how simple it is. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get into the accessories that it comes with. So getting into the accessories that he comes with, starting off first, we have his leather jacket right here. It actually is not very nice, honestly. It is, however, easy to take off. If you're worried about that, it does come off relatively easy. On the back here, it does say Balor Club Worldwide on it. It says Balor Club Worldwide on it on the back here. It has some pretty good detail as far as like the rivets and jacket, like the zipper and all that good stuff on it, but it is not very nice when it comes to bending the arms. Like it will not bend at all when it's on, so you can't do the pose where his jacket is open like this if you wanted to. Um, getting into his other accessory here is the Balor Club t-shirt. It's that same stuff that we've had with Randy Orton in the past where it has the buttons on the side there. BC on the back there. It it looks okay, but it's just terrible. Like any rubber accessories that come with figures just are not good. They hinder articulation, so let's just throw those away. And you have the one that I picked up from Ralph's here. This is the jacket that I showed in the last video that I posted. You have this beautiful cloth jacket that looks really good on the figure. I'll show you that in a second. And then I have this uh, Balor Club shirt that is how it should be, how Mattel should make their shirts. This is from an overseas seller. It looks a lot better than the rubber one, obviously. Um, I really like this a lot. Both of these look a lot better and work a lot better because they don't hinder articulation and they look a lot better, honestly. Um, these are just trash. You can just get those out of the way. So I'm going to see what the, the jacket looks like on the Finn Balor uh, figure and then we will finish up this review. So here's the ringside exclusive Finn Balor with the jacket on from Ralph's. It looks a lot better than the rubber one, obviously. You can actually pose it and all that good stuff. Uh, one thing I will say, this jacket may be a tad big. It could be a little bit tighter and smaller overall, but I think it is absolutely fantastic and much, much better than this rubber piece of trash that Mattel gave us. However, um, if you're looking to pick this figure up, I still recommend it, even though it doesn't come with cloth accessories. It's still really, really nice without the jacket, and it is flexible. However, you cannot do this pose with the rubber one, but... Really excited to have this figure in my collection. I think that's going to do it for this review, guys. Please leave a like down below. Comment what you think about this ringside exclusive Finn Balor. Please subscribe for more WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. I plan on doing those custom reviews in the next few days, so be on the lookout for that. I guess we could just call it Finn Balor Week here at My Damn Toys. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.